Tuesday afternoon to everybody. Uh, a little recap on last week. You know, we got letters on Monday. Y'all seen the video. Um, run up around Virginia a little bit, out in eastern North Carolina. We did come home um, empty uh, Friday. Didn't get a preload on. Uh, it was tough. But um, I did have a load lined up to load Monday. I did get a load lined up to load Monday. So yesterday morning, I uh, grabbed a load of brick out of Salisbury, where I'm out of, and run it to Raleigh. Um, dropped it off about lunchtime. And uh, I'll show you some video of him unloading. I thought it was pretty cool. So we got that dropped off. We run up to Mount Airy, found a found a load out of Mount Airy, going to Moultrie, Georgia. So got up here and picked it up. Had to wait in line a little bit. Um, with the time I had left on my clock, it just wasn't worth me going ahead and trying to advance toward getting a load off. So um, it would actually put me an hour behind running my clock that far out than me just stopping by the house um, so I just stopped by the house loaded it up stopped back by the house and then left out this morning about 345 um, and headed on down to Moultrie about a 7 hour and 15 minute ride bladder was full when I got there too rode straight through got down there about 1130 dropped it off um, and it's you know it's that time of the year where you have to do your uh, wellness screens and stuff for your insurance you know blood work stuff so Friday's my cutoff day and uh, I'm all about Peter Mobile so the wife she called down to uh, um, Tifton Georgia which was the closest um, place that we use to uh, get that done so um, I run about 30 minutes up the road, went over and got that done. Uh, so I left there and come on up to Cordell, or headed toward Cordell, looking for loads. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on in the truck stop and uh, find me a spot because they start filling up around two, three o'clock. On the way up, I was just thumbing through my app on my phone for loads. And uh, I remember the broker that I'd run Monday for, she told me about this load out of Fort Valley. Georgia going to Columbia but the load had got pushed back till Wednesday well guess what um, it's Tuesday evening and tomorrow's Wednesday so I seen it with another broker so I called her on it and um, went ahead and got it booked so pick it up in the morning they start loading at 8 which kind of bites because I'm an early bird um, but it's going up to um, Columbia, South Carolina, to Fort Jackson. So that's going to be about a four hour ride, three hours and 45 minutes, something like that. So we'll get that up there. Um, well, that's going to put me kind of, you know, early afternoon. Um, so I started thumbing through to Columbia, looking for stuff around 150 miles, within 150 miles. But uh, I seen a load. Uh, Sorry, 345 was early, but I seen a load out of Blacksburg going to Miami, and I just clicked on it, just curious, you know. You got to stay out of Florida with a flatbed. Uh, there is no freight out of there to come back. I don't care if you're 48 foot and all 48,000 pounds, or or you're a hot shot. That rate better be upwards of three dollars a mile because you're going to be rolling empty back up toward Jacksonville. Uh, so just out of curiosity, I looked uh, in Miami 
and uh, yeah there was one load and it was going like maybe 39 miles <laughs> so but anyway um so uh I, I looked at the one from darlington and um i was like man it's probably gonna be you know four or five o'clock before i even get over that way it's uh, like 78 miles um so i'm not even gonna worry about it well i was on the phone with somebody and and uh, a call came in i didn't answer it so when i got off the phone i checked the message and it was a broker on the darlington load going up to richmond and um loads paying like 287 a mile and uh it's 221 miles um 850 bucks yeah i'll take it um so i just asked her she said it was a load of steel got to be tarp no problem i was like um what's the latest that they load that's going to be the problem she said oh they load up till 10 o'clock well you put my name on it go ahead and send me the rate comp i'll take it so Got a load in the morning, got a load for tomorrow afternoon. So when I get loaded tomorrow afternoon, it kind of works out for me because then I can just run on up 95 toward Richmond, try to get as far as I can. Um, wouldn't mind staying at the Kenley 95. That's a big old, big old truck stop. Um, I'll throw some pictures in if I didn't delete them. Um, the Iowa 80, it's their sister store. Um, so, uh, not quite as big as the Iowa 80, but they've got a lot of stuff in there. They got, I think they got three rigs inside, one with a trailer, two just uh, bobtail, and then they got a couple cars up up top. Um, but it's it's a nice place. So that's what we got going on there. Um, so um, I just kind of want to give you all an update. Um, keep the video short. Keep your attention span. But uh, anyway, kind of give you a little shot of the rig. Now listen, I understand my rig is orange and my interior is burgundy, but the truck was originally born solid white, okay? So, you know, you can't knock me too bad for that. But, uh, but you know, I all dashed out, got a little bit of gauges on there, not a lot, but, uh, but we're just sitting here at the pilot down here in old Cordell. Wait for the sun to go down, let this shower go away, go in and get me a shower, uh, get me a little shut eye, and uh, we'll get started all over again in the morning. Later. Uh, Y'all trying not to laugh at me too hard now. I got on, got on my PPE on. Uh, <clears throat> so we uh, picked up that load of bricks picture. Um, Got it up to uh, Columbia there at Fort Jackson. Got it dropped off uh, around two o'clock. Uh, jumped over to Darlington. We're actually getting loaded now. Uh, it's pretty cool. You come in, you scale in. Uh, they give you a, a pickup number. You pull up to a little staging area. Get on channel two and then the mill actually calls you uh, by that pickup number, uh, when you answer the CB, they'll tell you what lane to get in and what bay to get in. So, like I was lane A, um, bay zero. So that's the first bay I stopped in. And uh, I'll put a picture of the overhead crane. <clears throat> so then the crane drops uh, the first one on, and then he told me to proceed to bay three. Uh, which I am in bay two right now. I got one more bay to go. Uh, but they're loading trucks in front of me and behind me as we file through here like cattle. Uh, so, but anyway, stay tuned. I'll uh, get you a picture to load before I tarp it. And then we'll, uh, we'll be a little short on drive time. So it might be the Kenley 95 that we stop at and we'll just roll on up to Richmond in the morning later.